hopefully everybody's having a good week. Currently in Missouri, heading to Kansas and Colorado, then empty out up in Montana. Picked up these John Deere tractors in Savannah, Georgia. So far, it's been a not so good trip, but it's got to get better. Normal securement, pretty simple. Two chains, two binders off the front on the axles, and then just a single chain with two binders at the back. Fairly light. Man, getting older sucks. I used to be able to take a fall and bounce right up. Not anymore. Now if I fall, yeah, it's to the emergency room and as soon as they find out you fell from four feet off a trailer onto solid concrete, they start treating it like it's a full-on trauma evaluation. <laughs> and not fun. Not fun at all. It hasn't stopped me, but damn, has it slowed me down. I don't know how I didn't break some bones with that fall. I have both of my wrists are kind of messed up a little bit. Um, my left elbow, my left shoulder, both of my knees are just eh, not fun. Bruises all over the place, scrapes, everything hurts. Eh. Not fun falling off a trailer. And these idiots requiring you to chain it down, or at least the back machine down, before you pull off their ramp. That's just, it's a bad spot. It's a dangerous spot to begin with. And I'm not even sure what happened or how I tripped. Or All I know is I was on the trailer, then I was on the ground trying to figure out what the hell happened. And realizing that, oh, shit, there's some things that hurt. I still finished up uh, securing the trailer and finishing up some things. Uh, ordered some barbecue and just kind of hoping that by relaxing, I might start feeling better. No, it just kept getting worse. To the point that I finally just had to go get checked out to make sure I didn't have something broke. Because, you know, my hand... Um, felt like it might have been broke. My wrist, I was kind of thinking it might have been sprained, which that sounds about right. Just, ugh. Getting older, you just do not take a fall the same as when you're young. At the Oak Grove 70, let's get this night going. Head to Kansas, deliver this first one, and then off to Colorado did not film any of the Kansas or Colorado deliveries. We are getting ready to get empty up in Conrad, Montana, and then head over to Calypsold. Let's figure out exactly where the dock is. I already talked with the people in the office. Sounds pretty simple. Walked across the street and looked at it. Nothing complicated. Straight line back. I'll just pull into the driveway across the street. It's all the same property. They own both sides of the street, so that helps things out a little bit. Beautiful day in Montana. Uh, I already chatted the lady inside. Set the dock right over here.
Okay. We load from Savannah, Georgia that had deliveries in Colorado, Kansas, and Montana. Kind of reverse that order a little bit. It was actually Kansas, Colorado, and Montana. Got that delivered. Had to go over to Calypso, Montana. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the name of that place. To uh, pick up a snowblower. It's a beautiful drive. Ended up going out through um, the south side of Glacier National Park on US Highway 2. Beautiful drive. And I was expecting a little bit larger snowblower. Yeah, the size, it, it's not what I was expecting. Not at all what I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> dimensions that shippers give in advance are very, very rarely completely correct. But that was a beautiful drive. Now I'm going to take a 34 hour in Missoula. Um, this next load is going back to Minnesota. I need to get some work done on the truck. I had a door that fell completely off, so need to get that fixed. Good morning. Hopefully everybody's doing good. I'm just leaving the rest area in Conrad, not too far from my delivery. Getting ready to head over to Calypso, Montana. It's only about 160 miles. Should be a beautiful morning heading out through Glacier National Park, U.S. Highway 2. Never been up this way before so it's going to be an interesting morning see somewhere i've never been before it's a beautiful sunrise this morning one of the things i love about montana you get some real nice sunrises An espresso teepee. Nice. An espresso shop that's shut down, but it's inside of a teepee. I'm in Browning, home of the Blackfoot Nation. Uh, Blackfoot trading post. Mini dancing woman trading post. Part of the American countryside. It's the rolling fields and towering mountains. There exists a creed of men and women who hold the roads as their kingdom. They are the truckers, proud and free. Driving coast to coast from valleys low to mountains high. For them, this is more than a job. It is their life, a calling that ignites a flame of passion within their soul. With every sunrise, they hit the road with pride. Navigating their massive rigs through endless miles of highway Through rain or shine, they press on Never knowing what the next bend the road they bring Leaving family and friends behind The truck becomes their mistress A jealous entity that demands their attention and devotion but the day carry on Driven by the thrill of the open road And the beauty of this vast and diverse land So they keep on trucking Their hearts beat in a rhythm with the hum of the engine From the heartland to the coast they journey on
was a broken man who spent years on the road, driving big rigs from one end of the country to the other. His marriage had fallen apart, and his children hated him, but despite his personal struggles, Mac found solace in the open road. The hum of the engine, the endless stretch of asphalt, the freedom of the highway, it was all he needed to feel alive. Driving 18, we were trucking. Mac had made a choice to subscribe to a life of enjoyment on a road he took pleasure in the simple things. A hot cup of coffee at a roadside diner stunning sunset over the mountains, the camaraderie of his fellow truckers. He found peace in the solitude of his cab, away from the noise and chaos of the world. Despite the hardships, Mac knew he was exactly where he belonged. The road was his home, his sanctuary, and he would continue to drive on, chasing the horizon and finding joy in every mile. And as he watched the sun rise over the horizon each morning, he knew that he was truly free. Driving 18 wheeler trucking life. Not sure how I got lucky on the timing, but got a train. Gonna be coming across US Highway 2 right here at Glacier National Park. Beautiful morning up here, enjoying it. Beautiful scenery, very quiet. No cell signal, no internet, just a beautiful area.
Down the highway on my stepdad truck Across the United States, I'm making no bucks Delivering goods from coast to coast Every mile I drive, I'm getting closer to breaking No load too heavy, no distance too far I'm the king of the road, I'm a trucking star I hit the throttle, feel the power in my hands I'm a stepdad driver, living out my plans As your heat, the mountains high I keep on moving, reaching for the sky States, I'm making big bucks, delivering goods from coast to coast. Every mile I drive, I'm getting closer to the moat. No load too heavy, no distance too far. I'm the king of the road, I'm a trucking star. I hit the throttle, feel the power in my hands. I'm a step deck driver, living out my plans. Through the desert heat, the mountains high, I keep on moving, reaching for the sky. The open road is where I belong. In my step deck truck, I feel so strong.
So you know we gon' work I might leave in one find a beach and go surf I might ride the way till I'm out of this earth Three, two, one Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up I could flip a dog to a million I don't like to brag, but I'm really on Three, two, one Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up Three, two, one I don't like to brag, but I'm really young 20 minutes in a moment for a lifetime You were driving through the ocean in the side of my head I could tell it was your eyes that made the sun shine
voltage? What voltage? Yeah, truck is dead. I guess I'm not making delivery in the morning. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Currently in Burnsville, Minnesota, delivering the snowblower. Very small crate. This thing was very light. Just have three straps over it. Nice and simple. This was all that was coming from Montana. Get this unloaded, head down to the valley yard in Grand Meadow, need some repair. So this is why you always keep a broom with you. I get to do some cleanup. I think I got half the gravel from uh, Montana on this trailer right now when he went to move the pallet. So I got the snow blower delivered in Burnsville, Minnesota, and then I came down to the Valley Yard in Grand Meadow, Minnesota. I had the door that fell off the back. Had to get that fixed, and then on my way to delivery in Burnsville, my APU quit working, so the batteries on the truck drained out, which caused me to be a little bit late to delivery. Well, actually a lot late. I got there probably about six, yeah, right around 6 o'clock. Uh, I was supposed to be there at 8.30 in the morning. 8, 8.30, I got there around 6. So I just parked out on the street, delivered it first thing in the morning, and then came down to the yard uh, to get everything fixed. I had to get up a couple times throughout the night to start the truck to make sure the batteries weren't going to die again. But our yard got everything fixed up. Uh, that's one thing about Valley Mechanics. They might take a little while to get the truck in the shop, uh, depending on how busy they are, but they are really quick at actually fixing the trucks once they are in the shop. So they got it all done, got everything working correctly, all new hinges on the doors. Uh, my dispatcher, he's already got me a load figured out, so I'll pick up on Thursday down in Iowa. It's supposed to be a pair of grain carts um, being told 12 foot wide, total of 14 foot tall, going out to Calusa, California, up north of Sacramento. So I'll get that done and get back on the West Coast turnaround. I actually like this loop. I do the loop from Minnesota, Iowa area out to California and back quite frequently. And I actually enjoy that loop. It's good miles. Um, can't complain about that. It's, you know, it is nice when they can get me somewhere other than the West Coast, turn around and do something a little different, just different scenery, but I'm not complaining. I, you know, good miles on this loop, so I'm happy.